You know, the financial sector is really kind of what's new in this entire COP, right? I've been working in this space for a very long time. And in all of that time, it really hasn't reached the crescendo that it's reached in this COP. And it's all because of the interest of investors and capital markets. And why is that? It's because we have to direct capital flows towards a transition to a low carbon economy. And finally, we have the tools to do that. We have the partnership for the carbon accounting financials, which is a brand new standard. And Persephone is actually coded in this standard, but it gives financial institutions the ability to understand the carbon impact of all of their financial transactions. That's a game changer because actually since Paris, we've been increasing the capital flows towards fossil fuel intensive industries. This has to change. And so now we have the tools to do it. Now we have the GFANS, the Glasgow Financial Alliance, the net zero, bringing 130 trillion US to the table. We can actually start to make a difference. First thing, I think it's really exciting that so many companies have made net zero commitments. It's aspirational and it's all moving in the right direction. However, you know, it's time to start taking those commitments and making them real. And the only way to make them real is good measurement. So we finally have a way and a tool to measure carbon the same way that we measure our financial results. The greenhouse gas protocol has been coded into some of the world's leading cutting edge IT so that companies can have a real time view of their scope one, scope two, and scope three emissions, forecast that into the future, run scenario analysis to understand what a, uh, a warmer planet might mean to their assets, and really start to use that information to make changes. You know, I always used to say, and I still say, that data only is useful if it's used. So all the data in the world is, is only good if people use it to make changes to their business strategy. That's what's happening here. We've actually taken the greenhouse gas protocol, coded it in, given companies the ability to measure their greenhouse gas impact and to measure actually the progress against those net zero goals. That's the only way we're gonna get that. You know, this, this COP, and I've been to several of them, right, was, was really sort of set up as the implementation COP. You know, we had the big aspiration in Paris about five years ago, but the real hard work comes now. When, when companies, when countries, when all institutions have to make those commitments to actually reach the Paris goals. And so it's gonna seem a little bit more incremental than others, but this is really the hard work that's getting done. But one of the things that really changed the game, the step function, really didn't get written about very much at this COP, and it was the development of a new International Sustainability Standards Board. So for the first time ever, we have a single global common language for how to measure carbon. This is going to be foundational for all the goals reaching the Paris Accord for companies and countries alike. So to me, that's the real takeaway from this meeting.